guys in today's video I'm going to show you how to recreate this Greek inspired nail art I really hope you like it just as much as I do for my pinky ring and index finger I'm going to apply two coats of a gold polish all the products I use will be listed down in the description box below Give that a few minutes to dry and then apply a quick drag top coat to protect your base color. I'm using the Greek nail vinyls from What's Up Nails. Once you have the vinyl off the sheet, place the nail vinyl on all three gold nails right down the center. It took me a few minutes to reshape the vinyl and it did turn out a little bit crooked but I did fix it off camera. Once the nail vinyl is in place, go over the whole nail with the polish of your choice. I'm using LA Colors Greek Island. This nail polish was the inspiration for the whole design, so I really wanted to use this beautiful teal color. Now, it was sheer on that first coat. I could still see the gold peeking through, so I did two coats of this polish before removing the nail vinyl. Once the second coat has been applied, remove the nail vinyl immediately for clean lines. Clean up any mistakes with a cleanup brush dipped in acetone. For the accent nail, I'm adding one coat of a sheer natural looking nail polish. Don't remember what it's called, but it's from Deborah Littman. I should have done two coats of it. With some nail glue or clear nail polish, attach a rhinestone right in the center of the nail. I chose this gorgeous teal that matched the teal polish for this. Next up, apply more glue or nail polish and outline the gem by placing gold studs all around it. Next, I'm going to apply a gold ring on both sides and top and bottom of the nail. Next, apply a different color rhinestone inside of each hoop. By the way, the inspiration for this design came off of Greek jewelry that I searched on Google. The next step is to add a small clear rhinestone in between each ring.
after I finished the accent nail, I thought the rest of the nails looked a little bit dull or they didn't quite match up to the accent nail. So I added a gold ring, a different color rhinestone on each nail and two gold studs on each side. And I think that actually brought the whole look together. For the top coat, I didn't want that center gem to lose its shape, so I applied the top coat around the gem. For the other nails, I applied it all around the nail, including the rhinestones. I really wanted this manicure to last, so I was really careful and applied a generous amount of top coat. And that's it for this look. These are by far my favorite design. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Turn on notifications and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.